The earthquake in Italy's Abruzzo region last April left hundreds of people dead, 1,500 injured and 50,000 homeless. The city of L'Aquila was the most damaged. Rebuilding the 10,000 houses which were destroyed is projected to take at least two years and the historic center 15 years. The rail yards of L'Aquila have been converted into temporary residential quarters for 160 people. Fiorino and his wife have put up in a train for the past five months. He'll be 90 in December and wouldn't like to be in this carriage through the winter. If our house isn't too damaged, we could go back to living in it, but only after they've inspected the thousands like it. It needs 60 days per house on average, so you can figure that out. It will probably take all winter and maybe even part of the spring, but we mustn't give up hope. People are fed up, can't take it anymore. We've been living like this for too long. It's ugly. When you get up in the morning, everything's broken. It's okay for the young, but it's hard for the old people. You can't spend a winter here like this. It's not only a heating problem. God, you can sleep inside, but what do you do during the day? If you want to take a shower before going to work and it's 11, 12 or 15 degrees below zero outside. It's not humanly possible. The 150 camps set up in Abruzzo are sheltering 11,000 people. When the camps close for the winter, the residents will face new adjustments in other temporary housing. And starting in January, the government says they'll have to start paying taxes again. People who have lost so much. There's building going on just back here, Sant'Antonio. We asked for a flat there. My girls' school's just in front, but they've assigned me to the other end outside the town. Until I get my house back in a year or two, I'm going to have to manage school and work expenses. Some people who've been in tents for five months have been told by the civil authorities they have to go to the coast because there's no space left. Now, I don't find that's fair. I've been in a tent for five months and they should find me a place here in L'Aquila. Earthquake resistant buildings are on the way. 184 of them at a cost of 700 million euros. They're supposed to take up to 18,000 people. Although they've been given a fair deal of publicity, they might not be finished on time. And it's not guaranteed that the people displaced by the earthquake can be housed in hotels. We're building on an anti-seismic basis. All the buildings are on a reinforced concrete platform and supported by steel pillars. The platforms are on shock absorbers, so the buildings are protected from seismic shaking. Weather permitting, we're trying to meet the demand. But you can't always cope with the unpredictable. Other risks include interference in the construction by organized crime. The authorities say control is strict, but this cannot be ruled out, says L'Aquila's mayor. No. We'll take great care with anti-mafia considerations. There have been attempts. Even I was the object of one of these. Little things like empty ammunition left on the town hall doorstep. But when someone's got a big juicy steak, someone's always going to be tempted. You really have to watch out. L'Aquila's educational establishments form a main part of its economy and universities and so on are facing not only a reduction in courses offered to the students but also much higher rents because so much housing has disappeared or been quarantined. 
Ma oddio, come prima? No, però. My God, it would be hard to go back to the way it was before the earthquake. Things couldn't just pick up normally. For instance, not all the schools will reopen because they're still considered damaged. Therefore, we're going to have to juggle between morning and evening courses and only get three hours per day. Schools are one thing, universities another. We have redone all the schools. All of them will be working this October. In January, everyone will have a roof over his head. There's a third thing missing now, employment and university. I hope we'll be given tax-free and other special status, otherwise it won't be possible. The question of tax-free status is in suspense. This European Parliament member suggests the Berlusconi government is dragging its feet and spending too much time on unproductive talk. It does not seem normal. I do not share the enthusiasm of the President of the Council, who went to inaugurate new houses, when 5,000 still have to be built. And these are only the urgent ones, because the most important thing is reconstruction. This is completely stalled, since the government isn't unblocking the money for it. The problem is that the government is only after the dough. You know, the funding level? It's 400 million euros for 2009 and 2010. More substantial amounts could be deblocked in 2011 and 2012. We must not be insulted. European funding is a further possibility. Italy has undergone a very serious earthquake. Many people need help. The damage is estimated at 10.2 billion euros. The European Union has a solidarity fund, and some of this could be used for Italy. Clearly this wouldn't go as far as 10.2 billion but at least half a billion euros. With some 18,000 people out of work in the region, Abruzzo's social and economic revival remains a dizzying task.